Time is a peculiar thing. We all move through it. But what if I told you some people are speeding into the future as you're watching this? What if going back in time might not be as crazy as it sounds? Let's dive into this wild world of time travel both forward and backward and explore the possibilities. At its core, time travel is about speed, space, and gravity. Imagine you're standing on Earth and someone else is zooming around close to the speed of light or hanging out near a black hole. The crazy part, a second for them, is different than a second for you. We're not talking about fancy gadgets or DeLoreans here. It's just how the universe works. Even now, if you look up at the night sky, there are folks whizzing by at 17,130 miles per hour. Where you ask, well, on the International Space Station, ISS. Yep, that's right. Above your head, the ISS crew is not just floating around. They're technically time travelers. Why you ask? Because they're moving faster than us on Earth. The faster you move, the slower time goes for you compared to someone moving slowly. So, those astronauts are aging a bit slower than you are. It's not a huge time difference, but it's happening. Now, let me hit you with some twin magic. Meet Scott and Mark Kelly, both NASA astronauts and identical twins. Born just six minutes apart, Scott spent 520 days orbiting the Earth, while Mark only did 54 days in space. Thanks to this time in orbit, Scott is about 5 milliseconds younger than Mark. It's a tiny difference, but it's a real-life example of time travel. So, not only is time travel possible, but it's also happening whenever someone is circling the planet at high speeds. But let's crank up the speed a notch. Imagine being on the first ever spacecraft traveling at 99.999% the speed of light. That's mind-bogglingly fast. At this speed, Every second on Earth is almost 20 hours for you on the light speed spaceship. So, if you travel at this pace for just one day, you'd age one day. But back on Earth, 72,000 days would have passed. In simpler terms, you'd have time traveled about 197 years into the future. It's like a science fiction dream waiting to become reality. Once we have the right technology, of course, but hold up, going forward in time seems doable, doesn't it? Well, brace yourself, because traveling back in time introduces a whole new set of challenges. Before we dive into the complexities, did you know that every time you stargaze, you're peeking into the past? That's right, because space is vast, and it takes ages for light from stars to reach us on Earth. The North Star, Polaris, is about 323 light years away. So, when you spot Polaris, you're actually seeing it as it was 323 years ago. If it decided to explode right now, we wouldn't notice for another 323 years. Now, traveling back in time. Cue the mysterious music. One theory involves wormholes, these hypothetical cosmic tunnels connecting different points in the universe. But wait, they might not just connect space. They could also link various points in time. It's an amazing thing to ponder. However, no one has identified a working wormhole just yet. But some scientists think they're not just possible, but might be more common than we imagine. The idea is that space and time are like besties so folding them with a massive amount of gravity could create a shortcut, a wormhole passageway. If we could enter one end and come out the other without getting squished or blinked out of existence, voila, time travel. And with this knowledge now in our minds, we introduce the Tipler Cylinder, the next step in our journey towards achieving time travel. Imagine a super long, indestructible tube filled with matter equal to 10 times the mass of our sun. Spinning this elongated black hole like a mad roller coaster, 
causes space-time to twist and turn. If you steer a ship through the ripples on a precise path, you could end up in the past. Sounds wild, right? The catch is, this cylinder has to be infinitely long or made of some alien material we don't know about yet. So, we're not quite ready to build this time machine roller coaster. But hey, don't lose hope. There's another idea from the Technion Israel Institute of Technology. Picture a donut shaped vacuum in space where timelines collapse on each other. Using gravitational waves to play with space time, you could enter at one spot and exit somewhere in the past. The hitch. You can only go as far back as when the time machine was turned on. And the tricky part is controlling the gravitational fields, which, technologically, we're not quite able to achieve just yet. Now, let's talk about paradoxes. These are the real brain teasers of time travel. The famous one is the grandfather paradox. Imagine you go back, accidentally prevent your grandpa from meeting your grandma, and suddenly, you're not born. But if you were never born, how did you go back in time in the first place? It's like a puzzle that seems to break the rules of the universe. But hold on. Some scientists think the universe might be smarter than we give it credit for. They say if a paradox happens, the universe will fix it. Take the grandfather paradox again. If you go back and mess things up, the universe might tweak things so that the guy you thought was your grandpa wasn't really your grandpa. Maybe you were adopted and you never knew. Trippy, right? In the grand scheme of time travel, here are the takeaways. Going to the future. Theoretically doable. Just rev up the speed. Going back in time. A bit trickier. Needs some fancy math. Loads of gravity. And tech we don't have just yet. Plus, if paradoxes don't fix themselves, going back in time might just be the end of the universe. So, while time travel remains a tantalizing concept, it's a bumpy ride full of twists, turns, and paradoxical puzzles. Buckle up and enjoy the temporal roller coaster. What are your thoughts on this topic of time travel? Does the current direction the human race is heading in technologically look promising? Leave us your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe for future content. See you next time.